day 359. So today was bike to work day. Um, this was the first kind of hour long active style um, activity that I've done since skiing last Monday. Um, I did go on a hike last weekend or this past weekend, but it, you know, it was just a standard one loop, um, of M long. And so it's not very difficult, right? It's not my 10 mile hikes. It's not my hour long swimming. It's not hour and a half to hour and 40 minutes spiking. Um, so I am back in the swing of things active wise. I do plan on doing an activity every single day between now and the next time I fast. Um, as I mentioned in my post yesterday, I am trying to switch it up where I'm doing very small portion meals um, and focusing more on portion control and eating right on the food side um, because that type of stuff is what's going to get me through life, not necessarily fasting half the year. So um, I've already got my food planned for uh, the week, uh, week and two days, um, till next Sunday. Um, the majority of it, I've got um, three main dishes um, and then I've got small breakfasts. I'm going to do one egg omelet, um, a, a single banana pancake, and um, yogurt are my breakfast options. On the lunch and dinner, uh, I haven't specified what I'm going to eat when, um, but I've got this uh, chicken, tomato, mozzarella, and pasta dish. That every time I'd make it, I'd always have too much pasta. And so this time, I'm going to make um, pasta because I'm, I'm going to hand make the, um, the noodles. But instead of um, consuming, you know, half of an egg noodle, right, um, I'm going to split up into four. And so it's going to be small portions, right? where I'm getting little tastes of it, and I'm also um, eating what I should eat, calorie-wise, not a ton. Um, I've also got uh, keto-friendly tacos, uh, and by keto-friendly, the bread is going to be, or the tortilla is going to be almond flour and coconut flour, um, and the um, filling will either be mushroom or chicken. And then I've got a steak dinner kind of thing. Um, so I'm taking a standard six ounce steak uh, and cutting it in half. So I've got two or four of those. Um, and then I'm doing uh, Brussels sprouts and cauliflower mash. So that is a mini meal, right? Um, and so I'll pre-prep uh, all of these, right? And then the, the final one, which I'm only going to do two times, is French onion soup uh, with some peas to add in some veggies. So uh, hopefully I can um, follow along and uh, eat better portions. And I'm going to start out eating better portions by portioning better when I start from the beginning. Um, and so because this is longer, uh, and I'm having more me more meals, it's pretty much the same amount of food that I'd have, um, during a regular eating week. It's just spread out a little more, um, and it's going to include more fruit and, um, just kind of more grazing rather than, uh, eating, one big thing and then going at it. So I'm going to try this. Um, we'll see how this week goes. Um, I know I'm going to go up because I've been fasting, so there's nothing in my body. Um, but ideally, by the end of this, I'm either flatlining on a regular basis or I'm you know, getting a half a pound here, a half a pound there. That would be the ideal situation. Um, I would like to break even with the fast, 
ideally, but because I'm eating more, I don't know where this is going to end up. So we'll see.